Okay, all right guys, this is going to be a really, really quick rundown again with our inverse um, sine, cosine, tangent uh, note. Uh, the plan is not to cover these in class because we've already been doing this. So this is a video in case you would like to go back and review and get some help with it. You can watch this video breakdown over here. Okay, so starting with, again, we want to start with our reference angle sine A. I'm using two different colors. So first thing, we mark our reference angle. We're looking at sine, and we know that sine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So we know that we need to locate our, our different sides. Here is our opposite, and here is our hypotenuse, okay, opposite of the angle. Now, I'm not writing the words in for a reason. This time, we're going to have to simplify. So here, opposite on top is going to be 6. Hypotenuse will be 10. We simplify this. We divide each one by 2 and we're going to wind up with 3 over 5. Okay, like I said, this is a kind of this is a quick rundown of just setting up the ratios again. If we switch over to reference angle B over here, we're still doing opposite over hypotenuse. The hypotenuse will not change. This time our opposite side is going to be over here. So we're going to do our opposites, 8 over our hypotenuse of 10. Dividing each by 2, we're going to wind up with 4 over 5. There's the sine. Okay. Taking a look at the cosine, going back to reference A, we remember that cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, locating our sides, step 2 after step 1 of reference angle, step 2 labeling our sides, we need adjacent and hypotenuse drawing that dashed line so that we can recognize our hypotenuse so we don't accidentally say that is our adjacent one. This will be our adjacent because it actually is one of our legs that creates the 90 degree angle. So adjacent of 8 over your hypotenuse of 10, this will simplify to 4 fifths. Skipping down over here to reference angle B. We want to take a look again, our hypotenuse, we're looking at adjacent and hypotenuse. Hypotenuse will not change. Our adjacent now becomes the side that's 6. So we have adjacent 6 over our hypotenuse of 10. Simplifies down to 3 over 5. Your tangent, we remember that tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay. Starting at reference angle A, we want to make sure that we understand where our hypotenuse is. We need our opposite, which is going to be over here at the 6. And we need our adjacent. So we have that dashed line so we don't say that, that 10 is our adjacent because it's across, it's our hypotenuse. So which means the 8 will be our adjacent. So then we put our opposite on top, 6, and our adjacent 8 on bottom. We simplify this to 3 fourths. Kick over to, tra uh, to tangent of reference angle B. Okay. Now our opposite and our adjacent have switched because we switched angles. So opposite of B, we have over here our 8. And then our adjacent, again not the 10 because it's the one with the dashed line, our hypotenuse. So our adjacent will be the 6. So then this comes out to simplifying to 4 over 3. And if we've talked about with tangent, when you switch angles, reference angles, you end up with the reciprocal, 3 over 4 and then 4 over 3. Okay, very quick review on that one.